house to be Aliyah. Hey, 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 My hope for this course is that by the end of the six weeks, we have Papua New Guineans who feel confident to look at the Bible in Hebrew and to try and read it for themselves. They don't necessarily understand the meaning of all the words, but they can read it and they're not frightened of it anymore. This language is really different from all of our languages because our languages used to work from left to right, but this language is working from the right to left. In Malaysian culture, we learn from hearing and see, and then we practice. That's how we learn. Yeah, I'm learning to teach Hebrew because one day expatriates are going to go home, go away, and what happens to us? I like the style we were able to catch up because of the way we were taught, you know, just listening and then uh, acting it out and it is done a lot and it has been very helpful in getting this uh, Hebrew. You know, I said to myself, can, can you really do it? Let's just see this one week. But I was really amazed, you know, after the first week and then the second week. You know, I couldn't believe, you know, I just hoping that I would get home and talk to my pastors, you know. I think the way the lessons were being prepared was really good. but I want them to build confidence during the time here so that they can go away and keep learning. They have tools to keep going and then hopefully come back to a second course and then come back again and gradually build more confidence. I really, really enjoy myself by learning from the songs because when I, when I, just sing from the, those songs that just, you know, my lips just speak out somewhere. But later on when they just come on the papers or the teacher shows us how to write it and all this, I just go, oh, this way, we are just seeing it. And now it's coming on the papers that we can read. So it really helps us and it's really nice.